What's up, guys? Dave here with Fight Bananas, where I have a really, really cool, fun interview about to come up with our guy, Tiago Moises, with a huge finish of round one of UFC Vegas 57. But real quick, before we get Tiago on, uh, let's pay some bills. Huge shout out, guys. We just got a brand new sponsor to uh, Fight Bananas. You can see down there, it's my bookie. It's going to match 100% of your bonus. So real quick, here's the commercial. We got to pay the bills, right? Uh, listen up, guys. Uh, betters, you don't want to be betters alone. Make sure you grab a couple friends, a couple cold ones, and get ready for UFC 276. Make sure you go to my bookie, put in the promo code BANANAS. There you go. You match up to 100% up to $1,000. Put $100 in, you get $100. Go to mybookie.ag.com today. Use the promo code BANANAS. All right, guys, enough with that. Let's get our guy in. We cannot wait. Um, a dark horse of the UFC lightweight division and so much more. I can't wait to talk to him. Let's talk with 16 and 6, Tiago Moises. Tiago, how you doing, my guy? Great, man. How about you? Doing good, brother. Doing good. How's life right now? Just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling. There's got to be nothing better in the world, right? All the hard work, the gym sessions, the training, but to get a first round finish uh, and then, then to fly home. There's got to be no better feeling in the world, right? Hard work pays off, man. It feels um, great. Very happy with my performance, my win. Right. Now, just enjoying it now, you know, just eating some yeah. bird ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, ice cream, I like it, I like it. You never know, they might call you back quick. Short notice oh. fights all the time. Yeah, that's right. I think they're going to call, call me back quickly, you know, because my fight was super yeah. quick. Uh, yeah, hey. I hope so. Very cool. And the, to me, your your name is really hot right now. Uh, you know, it was a really great show. I kind of, I do want to hit you up on the main event in a second. Uh, you know, a lightweight main event, very good fight. Uh, you know, went all 25 minutes. But to me, your name is on fire. When you go into a fight and to get exactly what you said, you know, first round finish, uh, you say you're feeling good most of the time, but fighters are still down on themselves for some reason. Um, but you got to be feeling great. that You went in and did exactly what you probably wanted to do. You look wonderful, never got hit. Uh, you yeah. got to feel great. Man, I feel great, you know. Like I, I think uh, this was my my best performance, you know. Yep. I I got hit twice, so I think that's pretty good, you know. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Got hit twice, yeah. Like I watched the fight, I got hit twice. I got the take down pretty early, you know. I got the back control. I could get the finish, so I couldn't be happier with my performance. I think everything went like better than I, I was planning to go, you know. Yeah. I thought that I could finish him uh, in the first. But also, I was like ready mentally to go like 15 minutes because he's a very tough guy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He he is in uh, you know, and I I would assume you know this. So uh, you know, even Grant, he tells me that you are the hardest working man in the business. Um, you know, I we we have L on our betting show underneath here at Fight Bananas, and uh, she was very very uh, she's like, hey guys, Tiago's gonna get the win, and then not even that. I'll go back and watch the show, Tiago. I had you winning first round finish. Everyone oh, really? at the gym, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, a lot of people, everyone at American Top Team says, uh, you just you got a great mojo right now. The momentum you got, how hard you're working, sooner or later, all this work is going to pay off. You had the hardest opponents, literally, you fought Islam, who's about to fight for the championship. It seems like it's your turn, it's it's your the next 18 months. You, I see you going on the four or five fight win streak. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, I feel the same way. I know, I think like I'm uh, I got the experience, you know, uh, yeah. I'm I'm very young, but I got the experience. I fought the best, the best of the best. And uh, I've, been, I've been putting the work, you know. Uh, I, feel, I feel great. I feel great in the cage. I feel like my skill sets uh, are second to none. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to get some, uh, a lot of first, first round finishes from now on. Yeah, the UFC loves that. Um, what did you see the the main event? I know a lot of times, especially at Ve uh, Vegas and the Apex, they get you in and then they get you out. They get you back to the hotel. Did you see the main event live or how, or of it? And to be honest with you, like uh, I I watched it, but uh, I didn't pay much attention because I was like excited about about yeah, my yeah, yeah, of course about adrenaline. I could I could sit still, so I I watched like a couple of highlights, you know. But uh, I think it was a pretty pretty close fight. Yeah, and you know, and I know uh, Gamrot, you know, is at the gym too as well. But do you foresee those names kind of maybe coming back to your way in the near future? You know, uh, I think Circadian now is eleven or twelve. He's kind of right outside your range. I know you called out Joe Selecki. I'll get into that in a second. But I feel like those are two names that you might see in the near future, maybe in the next within a year. 
Yeah, maybe, but uh, I'd rather fight uh, fight other guys, you know, that uh, don't train ATT. You know, we have plenty, right. plenty, plenty of guys that uh, I can fight. So I, I don't see why I should I should like uh, right. think. And then, okay, I saw that. I even saw uh, you put out a question on your Instagram. Uh, we did as well as your story. So we got a couple of fan questions. We'll get into that in a second. But I saw like you kind of re-upped on the whole Joe Selecki thing about, hey, you know, he had a good win. Uh, he's really close in that 15. He feels, I, it feels like you're in the same boat right there. And it just seems like it really does make sense. Do you really foresee this is probably going to be your next fight? Uh, I, I hope so. You know, I think okay. it's a, I think it would be a great, for, great for the fans, you know, and I could uh, could uh who wins this fight could get a top 15 shot next you know so i think as you said i we are in the same boat same spot and uh i think that that a fight, it's a fight that makes sense right um and re so right before i hit the record i kind of told you i'm here in atlanta uh for the pfl and we're downstairs at the uh, lobby and um tell me if i'm off or tell me if, if i'm onto something it just feels like when you, the fighters and your cornermen and the coaches, when you have this good, you know, rhythm and mojo and, and good camaraderie, uh, you know, there are people playing ping pong down there and they're high five and they're loving each other. And like I said, I talked to Grant and he's like so uh, pro Tiago Moises and he just thinks of the world of you. And I know he was with you. Is that a real thing? Is that a thing to kind of have that vibe and that camaraderie, the positive feel? Or at the end of the day, is that too much? And it's just it is a fight as a fighter. Does that really do help? No, that helps. That definitely helps a lot. You okay. know, vibe the energy. You know, everybody in the same, uh, in the same mood. You know, everybody like uh, working towards towards one goal. I think that helps a lot and makes a big difference. You know, so yeah, I agree. I, really, I agree. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it is uh, individual sport, but uh, at, at the end of the day, we we need uh, training partners, coaches. You know, so. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of people behind you know our our win and uh, i think it makes a lot of difference yeah yeah i couldn't agree more like so you know as you just as a fighter sometimes you're only seeing one way you know right. you're you're in the fight you're in the trees and sometimes you need a a training partner or a coach and whoever it could be at the gym to say hey tago maybe try this or maybe put a little bit more gas here or maybe tago you work too damn much relax a little bit you know you got to take a day i think that goes a long way i really do um, UFC 267 is this weekend, a stack card, three mega fights on it. Um, you know, one with Pedro Munoz and Sugar Sean O'Malley. I would love your take on that. And then also that Volkanowski Holloway to me, uh, a great trilogy fight. I know it's a featherweight championship fight, but I would love your two takes on those two fights. If you don't mind, man, I think, uh, um, O'Malley, he never fought a guy experienced as Pedro, you know, Pedro has been five, five uh, former champions, I think on his last couple of fights so i think he's gonna he's gonna be and he always bring the fight you know he, he comes to fight so i think he's gonna be on mali face all the time you know the calf kicks that uh, we've seen O'Malley having trouble before i think he's gonna he's gonna do that you know he 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 did that in a couple of his fights frankie edgar a lot of uh, yeah. and he used it against them you know so i think he's gonna use this strategy he's gonna be like he's gonna be in, he's gonna be inside you know because of the reach and uh if he goes to the ground i think uh, omal is gonna get submitted wow i like that i like that i haven't heard that it's, um i will get into that co-main in a second but one thing a lot of fights it's really hard to predict and to bet on and all of that nature but the one thing i would say that pedro and sugar fight i think that's going to be quick I, I just think both guys uh too many big shots the pace i think that within the first round i i do i see that a stop either way in the first round that could happen. Yeah, I do. How about the co-main event? Uh, Holloway, uh, one of the greats of the sport. Volkanowski, I think he's the number two pound-for-pound pound fighter alive right now on an unbelievable run. They fought twice. A lot of people have different ways on both of those fights, but Volkanowski in the books beat him twice. Where do you see that fight going? Man, I think yeah, Volkanovski is going to win again. Oh, okay. But uh, Max Holloway is really good, man. I, uh, I For me, he's one of the best, you know, and uh, – the Federal Division, but I see Volkanovski winning this fight again. Okay, okay. Uh, I, before he did like, this, uh, Korean uh, zombie. Yep. He did. He did pretty good, and then also last um, Max Holloway fight, he did really good. But I think it was a very close fight, you know. Right. With the Yair, and I think Volkanovski is way is a way better fighter fighter than Yair. So that's why I think he's gonna win. 
No, good. I like it, Tiago. You're, I think you're spot on on all your, your stuff right now. Um, I asked this question today. Like I said, I'm here at the PFL Media Day, and it was, it was really weird. A lot of fighters were like, oh, they kind of like thought about it, but they thought it was a real good question. Your best memories in mixed martial arts, are they inside a cage? Are they inside a fight? Or are they outside a fight? Are they in a training camp or, or a, a, you know, a, a trip with your friends, you know, fighters, cornermen, or a, a dinner or, or something outside the cage? Or, or is your best memories inside the cage? Man, that's a th- <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about it, you know. So I have a great, like, I have a great fight, fight memories, you know, uh, especially when you win. But I think my contender series, you know, uh, yeah. was, was a very uh, emotional moment for me, you know, because I was like working so hard for so many years to get that opportunity. And I felt like everything was on the line. So I was, I was very emotional. I think it was one of the best moments of my fighting career. That's beautiful. I, I've said this numerous of times to me ken to tender series i even love them even more than the pay-per-views or a fight night to me there's the best night in mixed martial arts there's something about like you said it's like you guys have worked so hard years and years and years seven eight years ten years to get to that point and it's kind of like the super bowl but then if you win the super bowl instead of getting the championship like you get in you get like a job it's like it's the biggest moment to get a job it's, it's amazing there's like nothing like it there's this weird connection and a hunger to it. I think it's a beautiful night. I can't wait. I think it's coming up in three, four weeks. Contender Series is back. Uh, it's, a, it's a great night. Yeah, that's why the fights are so good, you know, because the yeah. fights, they're hungry, you know, they want to they wanna change their lives, you know, and uh, it's hard to get in, but then it's harder to, to stay, you know. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's very true. Um, all right, one more cool question. Like I said, we got a couple fan questions that are fun. They did pretty good. Uh, the fans at Fight Bananas did all right. Um, someone you fought in the past, it looks like it's like the darkest, uh, you know, the most rumored fight that's out there that looks like it's going to happen. Uh, your division, the championship with Islam Makhachev and Charlos Oliveira. Um, he lost the title on the weight, uh, and without losing the fight, Oliveira's looked amazing for the last three, four years, almost looks unbeatable. Um, where do you see that fight? That is a tough fight. I've heard 50 different ways, 50 different outcomes. If they do fight, if we do see uh, Michael Chaff versus Oliveira next, where where do you see that going? Man, I think uh, I see Charles uh, with a strike advantage, you know, yeah. and yep. and I see him also. The I think he could submit Makachev, you know, but I think this is a, a pretty close fight. I, th- I think I I would say like 50-50, you know, wow. because guys are really good at, and i think mahashev he's a really smart smart fighter mm-hmm. really good fighter fighter iq you know so he could just take charles down and uh hold him you know and he stole the, stole the fight for 25 minutes wow and i think that i think that that uh that's uh mostly gonna happen you know and it, it's funny that you say that because a lot of people, even when they knock down Charles Oliveira, doesn't want to go down with them. They don't want to be down there with the submission game and how sneaky Oliveira is. Yeah. But like it's, but I, I think he's different. He's not trying to throw punches. Maybe like you said, he might be just holding and and kind of just controlling. And like you said, if he does that three or four rounds for multiple minutes, he could win the fight that way. Not gonna to try to pass his right. guard. Hard, you know, try to submit him. He's just gonna hold, you know, give a couple punches and and hold. Uh, right. I, that's that's what he's gonna do, you know. Um, last one. I didn't think of this before. You just kind of we talked about him, and it seems like it's always the same answer. But I gotta ask: sooner or later, would you love that your pass? Would you love that your pass would cross again with Islam Makhachev? Would you love to get that one back? I I love to fight him, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe for the bell. Close. Yeah, yeah, 2024, 2024. Yeah. I like that. I like that. All right, three fan questions. Uh, they came in good. Uh, these were the three best ones I thought, and uh, we'll we'll see where it goes. Um, the first one they go: If you weren't a professional fighter, what would you do as a profession? Mm, uh, I have no idea. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I could imagine myself working uh, in an office. You know. Yeah. I need to do that, but. 
And, uh, like and a, a firefighter, maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah maybe a firefighter. Yeah, that'd okay, be good. Okay. Uh, you know, very physical, out. You know, uh, dangerous. Yes. Yeah, oh, uh, so adrenaline. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Uh, this is a good one. This is a this is an important one. Um, chicken wings. Do you like the bone in or bone out? Bone, bone in. Bone, bone in. in. There you go. That's the correct answer. And then the last one the fans gave is, who's your all-time favorite mixed martial artist? Mm, that's a tough one. Uh, I have a couple, you know. I'd uh, Anderson Silva was one yeah. of my favorite. Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre. Yeah. And, and like, who's someone, uh, Tiago, who's someone today when they fight, uh, could be a pay-per-view, could be on the prelims, the main event, could be a fight night. When they fight, like, you got to watch him or her. It could be a female, uh, you know, you want to just retire. She was almost must-see TV. Who's someone every time they fight, you got to watch? Man, that's... I. <laughs> I uh, man, I would say my teammates, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, of course, of course. Ain't nothing like it, you know. Um, I always hear all the time. Sometimes when your teammates fight, uh, you almost get more nervous for them than your own fight. Yes, <laughs> that's a lot of adrenaline, you know. Right. So. Uh, Tiago, man, I I really appreciate I appreciate your time. Uh, I thought uh, UFC Vegas fifty uh, eight. I thought you had the performance of the night. First round finish. You looked wonderful. You looked the top of your game. It was a great night of fights, but your finish, I thought was, you put a stamp on it. And I really do believe this. I really think it's like, okay, it's time to go. I think the next 18 months is going to be really critical for you going forward. I'm a huge fan and can't wait to see what's next for you, my man. I appreciate it. Is there anything you want to shout out or anything you got to get off or, or sponsor or anything like that? I uh, just want to give a shout out, you know, for my team, American Top Team, all my training partners, my coaches, and uh, everybody who was cheering for me. And I want to thank you for the for this interview. It was awesome. I, I had fun. It was a great time. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate it, my, my guy. We'll talk real soon, all right? Big fan. I'll talk to you real soon, my friend. Sounds great, bro. Thank you.